So I have a new Windows 7 workstation. It is a member of the work group and not a member of the domain. If I go to right click on properties of my computer system, that's under control panel, system security, system. I can see that this computer is a member of a work group and it's called workstation 01. And if we take a look at our Windows 2008 server, there are no computers called workstation 01 anywhere. It's just WKS001. So I am now going to change the settings and join this to the domain. But before I do that, I need to make sure I can resolve my domain name, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to the command prompt and what do we do to verify that this workstation can resolve the name? Ping my halverson.prv, right? And it can resolve it, and that's the right IP address. It got an IP address through DHCP. So as you can see, the DNS server that it's using is my server over here. And it got its IP address through DHCP. So it got all of its IP address information from the server. And we can ping halverson.prv. So we should be able to join the halverson.prv domain because we're going to need to communicate with it to ask it permission, can I join this workstation called workstation01 to your domain? <coughs> so I type in halverson.prv, hit OK. And now it's going to say, you need to enter the name and password of an account with permissions to join a workstation to a domain. What account do you think has those permissions? Does yeah, Sally or Terry? Only the administrator has this authority at this time. So I'm going to type administrator correctly, and then the password for the administrator account. Hit enter. And now it's going to check with the domain. And if we watch, oh. No, no. I probably didn't type it correctly. Okay, hey, welcome to Harvest in a PRV. I'm going to hit refresh here. And there it shows up in the computer's OU. It's magic. Hit OK, and it's going to want me to restart this computer. So now if I want to, I can move this Harvest in workstation 01 into the computer's OU. And now it's managed by the computer's OU in the Fenimore Organizational Unit. So that answer your question, Vicki? Yes, thank you. You bet. Any other questions or anything else you want demonstrated? Should I log in as Terry or Leroy? Verify that works. Switch user. I'm going to sign in as Sally Smith. No, Susie Smith. Susie Smith. Password 1. I got big fingers. So I just logged in as Susie. <coughs> and I'm the user Susie on this computer. I can type CMD and I can type This is a group policy result. So what it's doing is it's reading the information about group policy, which is by default, there's a default group policy that has all these things already set for you. But you can go modify them, which we'll do later. This is reading all the information about the user, Susie, and this computer and the relationship to the domain. And it's going to display it to the screen here. So we're going to see it fly by here soon. Maybe. Anytime now. OK, then. Let's go.
Yeah, the notification is wrong. This is the problem with these tools. They don't really show you what's going on. So you don't know if it's having a problem with the SID or if it's just taking that long to apply the SID against the GPO. Yeah, I think that's the command. Look on the, the test. It's slash R, isn't it? GP result at the, the back sheet as you type the command at the bottom of your test sheet. It's GP result slash. Slash R. Yep. There it, goes. there it goes. Okay, it just took a while. So, as we can see here, if we scroll through this list, what it displayed is that these, this OS is a member of this workstation. It's a member workstation of the domain. And the user is user Susie Smith in the domain Holverson. And you can see here that this computer, computer settings, is in the workstation's common name, which is in the computer, I'm sorry, in the, the, the common name is workstation 01. In the OU computers, which is in the OU FEN, which is in the domain controller Halverson, and the domain controller PRV, or the top level domain PRV. Does it make sense so far? And we're using the default group policy. There's none set there. We were talking earlier about how PowerShell gets used a lot more these days. Yep. And if there's a drawback to PowerShell is that instead of putting things in with dots, you do a lot of where well, you've got to show the OU. CN the equals comma. Yep. Here it is right here. This user, so here's the user settings. Common name is Susie Space Smith. In the users OU, in the FEN OU, right? And then down here we can see that this user is a member of HR. Any other questions?